relax, do a couple of shoulder rolls just to get things kind of loosened up. And if you haven't moved around much, this will be a way to kind of get everything uh, loose and ready to go. All right, knees soft, body relaxed. Take a breath up. Then exhale and just sink the energy and soften the knees. And just get a little flow going in your movement. Nice and easy. Just let your body and your mind kind of focus on what's going on right now. Nice and relaxed. Feet spread out in your shoes or if you're barefoot, just feel the touch of your feet into the earth. Now bring those arms up, pull in, turn, big stretch out and back. Good, breath in, palms up and out. Good. Just feels good to move those shoulders, open the chest, squeeze the back. Now let's just shift side to side and roll an elbow. It's as if you're just pushing um, your elbow out to the side and just shifting the weight. So this will begin to warm up the legs and the hips and a little bit of rotation going in the trunk and really loosen up that shoulder too. It's a nice, easy side to side. Good. Now go ahead from an elbow and make it a long, big outstretched arm. Good. And as you're doing that, begin to turn your body more so that we're rotating in the waist, using our um, oblique muscles to turn, starting to warm up the waist, the abs, the back. Good. One more each way. And then just come to center and just kind of swing. So we're just shifting the weight. Um, as you're doing this, do try to keep your shoulders over your hips instead of leaning into it. Good. It's a nice little swing. Still just warming up. Very good. Come back to the center breath. And sink. I want you to go ahead and roll forward in your spine just a little bit. Let your body hang. Let your arms dangle. Let the neck be loose and the top of your head facing the floor. Now, eyes open. Pull your belly button in as you uncurl. And as you uncurl, bring the arms out and up. Look slightly up. Feel a wonderful squeeze in your shoulder blades. Now just soften. I'm gonna turn sideways and just let your body fold and hang. Now if you need to put your hands on your thighs, that's fine. If you can let them hang, that just gives you more of a stretch across the back. But this is a warm up, so don't do too, too big a stretch to start off. Breath. Pull the belly button in, slowly curl up. Breath again. Ah, and sink that energy. And just lift up and down. So just a nice little flow as if the wind was picking your arms up and sinking it down. One more. Good. Now we're going to go to our Tai Chi tap. So we got everything loosened up. Let's wake everything up. Up and down, shoulder, palm. Good. Into your shoulders, across your chest. And tap down the other arm. Do it with the palm open and up and then palm down. Good. Nice little pat. Back to the chest and down to your abdomen. Just wake up all those internal organs, getting the blood flow to them. While we're doing this, we'll go ahead and do the back a little bit uh, and your kidneys. Good. Now come back around across the hip. Take it palm to the side. And let's chop down the inside and up the outside of your leg. So you just cross the hip, chop down, and 
the outside and up. Let's do that three times. This will be our third. And then let's chop, let's just slap the tops of the legs. Don't forget the tops of your feet. And then up the back, over your back side, lower back, and around to the top once again. Good, last one. back very good back to your shoulders and just let your fingertips tap your scalp increase that circulation to your hair follicles and the top of your head and across your forehead and brow and to the temples and underneath your eyes and cheekbones under your nose and all around your lips, chin. We can do that old, uh, what they used to say, you can improve your face by uh, slapping under your chin. I don't know if that works, but <laughs> all right, shake it all out. Oh, that in itself helps you feel a little more awake, doesn't it? Let's shift our weight to the left, turn your right toe. And then just do a little weight shift and a bow step to the right. Now my, my toes kind of out an angle about 45 degrees, whatever you're comfortable with. And then your left hip is toward the camera. You'll let your body turn, remembering hips stay under your shoulders. And let's push in waves, pull back, push away, squeeze back. Now what I like about this, is the rocking flow of the movement and then pull the elbows back and really feel the chest open and um, the shoulder blades squeeze and your upper back muscles wake up and stay warm. Breath, and if you just breathe in and out. And sometimes it really doesn't matter so much when the breath is, just go with the flow that feels good for you. If you inhale when the chest is open, you can take in more oxygen, but it also sometimes feels good to exhale then as well. Just do what feels good. One more. Now just shift the weight. So close the right toe, shift to the right, open the left. So do a few movements back and forth. Good, now let's add our flow, push the waves pull back and push. It's a nice rocking movement. Front, squeezing their shoulders. Looks good, ladies. Good, couple more. Last one. Good. Now come back to the center, breath up. Squeeze the arms and just kind of let your palms stop right here in front of you, right in front of your belly button as if you were holding that little chi ball of energy. Now holding that chi ball, once you shift left, just hold that ball, kind of bring it up by your ear and then shift over to the left and bring it up. So what we're doing we're doing a spiral, but we're imagining we're holding a ball and turning it in a figure eight, if that makes sense. A so sideways figure eight. So the left arm's on top, and then when you go down on this side, you bring the right arm up. So just a nice little flow, a little rotation. It's kind of a combination of several of our Tai Chi and Qigong moves, but I kind of like this one because you feel that squeeze in your core. All those muscles are having to work slowly. But just flowing down and up. Breathing in and out. Very good. Come back to the center. Right arm on top. So let's separate heaven and earth. One palm up, one palm down. 
reverse and squeeze as you bend and then turn the palms reverse and squeeze as you bend excellent push up and turn and squeeze up and turn good just pull all that energy and then push it away breath ah, exhale good once more good and bring that energy back in let's start to get our feet moving a bit so let's just swing back and forth again and let's start our bow and arrow so when we go to the right, you're gonna turn and pull that arm as if you were pulling a bow and the other way. Now, as you get your balance under you, turn your line of sight out over that pointed finger, pretending you're watching your target, making sure you are successful at pulling your bow and arrow reaching what you want to reach. Good. Get a flow that feels good for you. Now, this time, let's add a tap in, a T step in, and then out. So, as we start to move the feet, we want to continue to try to go in that flow as graceful and controlled as you can. Some steps are better than others, sometimes are better. One side might be easier to tap in than the other. You can adjust when you start to do balance changes, adjust by pulling your abs in or squeezing your glutes underneath you, or maybe bending the knee more. Now let's try it this time with the knee. Let's come up and pull the knee in and release and up and pull the knee in. Good. And you may want to slow it down when you pull the knee in than what you were doing earlier, that's fine. Good, we'll do a couple more and then we'll try to hold that knee a bit. Let's do one more set. Now let's try and see if we can pull it in. So go in through your T-step, find your balance, pull the knee up and hold as much as you're comfortable. And then switch to the other side, come in. Good, and release, good job. So you probably see one side is easier than the other. And down to the other side. Very good. Now let's do a quick kick. So we just shift over a little kick and in, and then over a little kick and in. Good. Good job. Looks great, couple more. All right, let's work through our, um, our knee and do a slow kick if you can. You got a chair handy if you need it. Try to hold that kick, pull in, good job. And the other side, kind of bring it in. Look and try to hold your kick as best you can. You got a chair close by if you need it. Good, let's do another each side. I didn't hold that one. And then in and the other side. Very good. Back to the center, shake it out. Good. Hip distance again, breath up. This time I want you to put your palms together. Bring the hands down, knees soft, round forward. 
Now round the back. This time, take your palms and turn them out and take the back of your hands together and then scoop up with the back of the hands together. So I know I showed you after I was moving down. Okay, come out, round your body over, turn the backs of the palms together and, and curl and scoop and pull that energy out. So I'll turn sideways, but I think you guys got it. Just roll down, backs of the hands together, tuck in and up and scoop up and out. Good, let's do a couple more. This is a great way to take all that internal energy, push out the negative energy you don't need and open up to that good, good energy. A renewal, a refreshment, an energizing energy. One more time. Scoop up. Good. Up and out. Now this time I want you to roll forward. Hands are on your thighs. Back is round. And keep the weight toward the arches or the heels. Push your chest out flat, straighten your legs a bit more. And this stretch now is gonna be more in your hips and lower in the back of your legs. It's a yoga tabletop stretch. Good. Now soften the knees and round. Breath in and then exhale, push out. So this is like a, a yoga cat cow we're staying more flat than, than cow shaped breath. Soften and curl. And then exhale, push out, pushing that weight back, straightening your legs a bit. Feel a wonderful pull back here. Let's try it one more time. Breath, around. And then exhale out. Good. Now from that position, turn your fingers to the outside of your thighs, take that left shoulder, drop it and turn to the right. So what this is doing is stretching down the outside of your left hip and your waist. Good, come back to center, round, breath in. Then exhale, drop your right shoulder and turn to the left. Good, back to the center, breath, curl. And then let's turn to the right, dropping that left shoulder. And back to center, curl. And then exhale, turning left. Very good, back to the center, let's uncurl. Good job, bring it up and exhale, sink that energy. I want you to put all the weight in your left leg, bring that right leg in, lift the knee, step out, weight right, lift the left knee. So right now, upper body is open and tall. You're just pulling that knee in. Good, couple more. Now let's do golden rooster. So the same uh, arm comes up as knee, it comes together and just swoop it over and the other. Very good. As much control as you can, looks wonderful. Breath, exhale, breath. Good. Let's do it one more each way. Now no arms, stepping to the left, just tap that right toe forward and then step tapping the left toe. So you've got almost 100% of your weight in your supporting leg. 
We're gonna get ready to do needle at the bottom of the C. So this will be the opposite arm where left arm comes up, right toes down. Lean over and just swirl your fingertips as if you were swirling them on the top of the ocean or edge of a beach. Breath up. Good, stepping to the right, right arm and tap. And step up, left once again. Lean forward, just imagining that cool water on your fingertips. Breath up. And other side. Down. And lift up. Come back to center. Breath up. Now shifting to the left, left arm stop. We're gonna hold that ball of energy. Let's do our ward off. Turning to the right, lift the right arm up as you bring that left one down. Come center, close the feet. Just transfer the weight the other way. So we've done this many times. We're prepping for our grasping um, the bird by the tail. Come back to the center, push away. Looks great, ladies. Come in and shift. The other way. Okay, let's go right, stay here. Come up and hold your bird's nest and then bring it around, rotate by the ear. Fingers wide, wrist to wrist for bird's nest. And to release in and push away. So now we come to the center, right arm on top. Ward off. Bring that right arm up to hold your little bird's nest. Bring it down around the hip, up by your ear. Bird wings push out and release in and out. Very good. Let's do a couple more. Left arm on top, ward off. Bring it up for your bird's nest. Come around. Fingers open, push wrist to wrist, and then palm over palm retreat and push. Last one, right arm up. Shift over, hold your bird's nest, down and around, very good. Push wrist to wrist and release, push away and back to the center. Bring that energy up, push it toward the heavens and out. Shifting our weight left, we're gonna go into our bow step and a couple of yoga poses. So I like to open my stance a little bit wider, separate my hips, so I've got more of a triangle here. Turn to the right, arms up, shift forward into a warrior one. So you want to pull the shoulder blades back, open the chest, bend forward a bit on that front leg. Find a focal point, hold, Three to five full breaths, focusing on just your breath. Now release, turn your body forward, palms down, shoulders level, or your two. Breath, 
Straighten that front leg. Let's go back in a reverse. So energy up, left hip pushes forward, abs tight. Lift your body, even though you're leaning back a bit. breath. Let's go down into a side bend or triangle. So lean over. You can put your hand on your thigh, knee bent, or your elbow. Lift up, energy up. If you want to do a triangle, straighten that front leg, slide your hand down. But you determine which position works for you today. Every day is not going to be the same. You might be able to do a full position one day and have to modify the next. That's totally fine. breath, lower that left arm, turn toward the right, turn your foot in, put almost all your weight in that front leg, reach your arms out, and do a modified warrior three. Now in a modified position, um, our goal is to begin to bring that leg up and balance on one leg. If you want to try that with the chair, or try it with little uh, seconds here and there, Go right ahead. Works on strengthening your balance and your focus. Very good and release, come up, close in, breath. Very good. Now we've got everything reversed to the other side. So turn your left toe out, right. Body toward the left, shoulders down, arms up. Warrior one. Breath and release, turn front, arms out, warrior two. to reverse. And breath, release, let's go down into a side bend or a triangle.
and breath. Bring that arm down all the way to your left leg. In your position for a modified warrior three. Good, and release, come back to center breath. Ah, just sink that energy a bit more. Let's hold your chi ball of energy left arm up. Separate heaven and earth once again, big push, big stretch, pull it in. And up. Very good. Now from there, let's bring your palms together. Bring your feet closer together so that your stance is much smaller. Breath, arms up into your prayer hands. Open your chest. Lift your chin slightly to the sky. Press your hips forward. Nice. Reaching to the sun. And now release, pull the hands to your heart, shifting all the way down your left leg. Do um, a tree pose so you can just touch your toe on the floor with the knee turned out. You can try to balance with it on your calf or a little bit higher. Just uh, hold and try to balance as best you can. Focus on a nice point ahead of you. And release, knee soft, breath up, palms up and around. And the other leg, bring your palms together, hands to heart. And let's do tree pose on the other leg. Very good, down breath, chest open, arms wide, giving everybody a big hug, all of us hugging the world. Everybody needs a big, big stretch and a big bear hug. Bring one arm in over the other, pressing down so those shoulders stretch. Now let the elbows come up and uncurl, open out, big wide, group hug and then bring the opposite arm over and give yourself a self hug because you so deserve it big old self hug good after giving yourself a hug pull those elbows up again open i want you to interlock your fingers behind you and open your chest Pushing the backs of your hands down, feeling that wonderful long stretch in your neck. And then relax your arms, soften your knee, tilt your left ear to your left shoulder, still keeping your chest open, don't collapse forward. Then just the neck only roll forward till you get to the right ear at the right shoulder. And roll the head forward again. And back to center. Think of pushing your, in, your chin in toward the wall behind you. You can use a hand or just push back, strengthen those next muscles. The ones that get overstretched. It's very subtle movement, but so important to strengthen those under 
or overstretched to underused muscles. Good, and really shake everything out. Ah, nice, solid stance, breath on. Hands to heart, close your eyes. Feel your body as it's suspended between the earth and the heavens. Feel the energy circulating inside you, the renewal, a new day, a new beginning, a new chance to right wrong and to be a better version of ourselves. That's our goal each and every day, to be better. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another beautiful day, for the opportunity to see the sunshine again, to take nice full breaths of fresh air and know that you are with us here on earth, helping us to be the best versions of ourselves, knowing that we are in your image and we try harder each day to do what you would have us do and be your servant to our fellow man. Be with all those who are suffering, loss, pain, dis-ease. Help them to feel your love and your strength and the love of each of us around them. Be with us as we go forward today to do what you would have us do. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you all feel more stretched out and...